What's up guys, Champ here, bringing you another Black Ops 3 gameplay. Today what I got for you is that new DLC weapon that I just got out of the supply drop yesterday. I'm going to bring you a little bit of my first gameplay here, my first gameplay ever with this gun. It's the DIY 11 Renovator, that's the name of this gun. It's a nail gun, it shoots nails. It's kind of a little funny how this gun works, because it's not like you press the button and the bullets immediately fly and hit the guy. It has a little bit of a time delay, so it does make this gun a little bit tricky to use. I do actually struggle with it a little bit, but I actually, when I first started off, I thought this was the best gun ever, because it's my first game ever playing with this gun. I got no attachments on it, and I do really well. But then after that, I start to struggle a little bit with this gun. I just can't really get the timing down. Maybe I just ran into a terrible lobby of players. Terrible as in they were terrible good for me. To start off, I ended up getting 65 kills, my first game ever with this gun. I thought it was... A really good start to a gun that's kind of tricky. You really have to spend a little time with this gun to figure out how it really works. It could kill pretty quick. If you catch the people at the right time, if you catch them at the right angle, you're going to just completely melt the other team every single time you shoot at them. But if you catch them and they're jumping around, they're side swiping left to right all over the place, then you're going to have a lot of trouble using this gun right here. What I'm using right now to start off, because I have no attachments on this gun, is I'm using Flap Jacket and I'm using Afterburner in my first perk class. My second one I'm using Fast Hands and Scavengers, because this gun, you only start with 25 bullets in the clip in this gun, so you do run out of ammo really quickly and have to reload a lot. So getting fast mags or extended mags for this gun is a must. You're definitely going to benefit when you have those attachments. But I didn't have those right now. And for my third perk, I ended up going with Attack Mask, because I'm playing Nuketown here. I threw two stun grenades on. I thought I would use them, but I'm not even really used to using stun grenades, so I didn't even throw a single one probably this whole entire game. So that was just a waste of two spots right there, but what you going to do? So I do have the Blackjack Specialist, because this gun is a little tricky, like I said. So I got the Blackjack Specialist on, just to kind of counteract, you know, get myself a couple extra kills. Just give me a little more of advantage, so I can get my score streaks and start to beat up on the enemy while I'm still trying to figure out how to use this gun. But like I said, I get 65 kills here in this first game. Not too bad for... But my total impression of this gun, I would say it's very frustrating. There's so many times you're running into a gunfight and you pretty much have to do dead. He does like just a tiny sidestep in the gun. The hip detection on it is terrible or it's just supposed to be like that. Or it's a time delay and it just makes it really hard to use. So I found this hard, this gun really hard to use. I actually am pretty much tired of using it. I just wanted to play with it, get you guys some pretty decent footage at least i did end up getting good streaks i did have some good games you know i always end up doing pretty well at least i get my streaks on the majority of the games that i play in here i think i'm going to show you clips at the after this game i'm just going to show you guys a bunch of good clips of just like little tears i went on of the other like two or three games that i played with this gun but it's decent, I guess I would say. If you catch people at the right moment, it's definitely decent. What I like to put on this gun, the attachments I would suggest are definitely extended mags, fast mags. I messed around with the rapid fire, but I didn't really see that much of a difference with the rapid fire. So you can kind of just throw something else on, maybe stock on, maybe quick draw. The hip fire on this gun is pretty good, so you should hip fire a little bit with this gun more than you hip fire like with a normal gun I guess because it's almost like shooting the hip fire is almost like shooting with the dot up anyways I didn't find any need to throw any red dot or elo on because as you can see what I'm looking at right here is pretty much a red dot already built into it so that would be a waste of an attachment right there it was Newtown 24-7 this weekend, or pretty much this whole entire week, actually. So I got all these clips on Newtown. Maybe Newtown's not the best map for this gun. Maybe other maps could be good. Because you want to get in close-range battles with this gun. You don't really want to go distance, because anywhere on the distance, people could just dodge your bullets really easily. But if you catch them up close, you can completely destroy people with this gun. 
like I said, you use the hip fire, you could really destroy them up close pretty easily with the hip fire. And if you catch people that are standing still at range, you could destroy them too. It's, it's as long as they're just standing still. As soon as they start moving, sliding, jumping, anything like how that guy just did right there and just completely got away from me, then you're going to get in trouble with this gun. That's when you're not going to be able to connect with those shots like you normally would with a gun because it's not instantaneously like I said as soon as you shoot the bullets with the CUDA if it, you're on target it hits them but this gun no it's not exactly like that if you get this gun try it out let me know if you like it I'm not really convinced with this gun so anyone that does have this gun let me know what you think in the comments i see a lot of people saying that this gun's like the best gun oh my god it's a new like god gun i'm not really seeing it maybe they just have better aim than me with this gun maybe they have better like way of timing it maybe they have the best connection ever because i can see if this if these bullets do connect they do destroy people I hope you guys like what you saw here. I had to spend about 2,500 crypto keys to get this new gun. I went in with a mission with those crypto keys. Good thing I got it because that video was already about 13 minutes. And I got a lot of good stuff in that supply drop opening. So if you guys like to see supply drop openings, you want to see me get this gun in the supply drop opening and see what else I got. Just check it out. See what else new is out there. I spent about 2,500 crypto keys so you can check out all the new stuff that's coming out. See what I got. I don't even know what I got. I can't even name all the stuff that I got. I got so much stuff. Look at that triple I just pulled off right there with this gun. Like I said, if you're connecting, if people are running towards you, not left and right, you're going to destroy them. All those people who are like running towards me or staying still is easy kills right there. That's when this gun just completely melts the other team. But besides that, you're going to have a little bit of trouble with this gun. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to me at Champ Gaming. If you haven't checked out the channel already, I got plenty of 100 plus kill games, tons of nuclears on the channel, high gun streak games, high kill games, just 100 pluses. Like I said, I got a series of how to get a high KD. I go through a lot of maps in this game. I also got a, just a Nuketown only playlist playlist is really easy to scroll through i got a bunch of supply drops on there so definitely check it out if you guys like black ops 3 i got tons of content lots of great gameplays on this channel also the infinite warfare beta is coming out this weekend for the xbox one i'm an xbox one player so i didn't get to play it on the ps4 last week like everybody else i'm a little bit late to the game which kind of stinks in that for that ever since i had xbox one they've been BS at me with this Call of Duty. It used to be the Xbox One got the maps and stuff first. So this kind of sticks. But um, now I am going to get to play it this weekend. So finally I'm going to get to play Infinite Warfare. So I'm going to be posting lots of gameplays. I'm going to be trying to go for that nuke that they got, the Deatomizer Strike, whatever it's called. See if I can get that. See if I can be lucky enough to get the weapon variant that it takes. Because that's what you have to do. You have to get a certain weapon variant in order to have a nuclear in that game. Then you got to get all your kills just with that single gun. Which is kind of crazy. It's like, you don't know, even use scavenger. So you have to somehow come up with enough bullets to kill 25 guys using the same exact gun. Nothing else counts to call in the strike. So I'm going to see if I can do it though. It sounds pretty tough. I've seen a couple of them on the internet. People are getting them. There's not that many of them out there, so that just shows how tough it is. So there's still a lot of gameplay left here, but I'm going to leave you guys to the rest of the game. Just so that, because there's really not much else to say about this gun. This gun's a nail gun. It has a little bit of time delay to it. If you catch people up close, you're really going to be able to melt them. If you catch people that are standing still like that guy right there, you're really going to be able to melt them. Besides that, if they're a jumpy team, if you're playing versus a bunch of good players that are constantly on the move, you're going to have a tough time with this gun. You're going to miss a lot of shots. And if you're playing with people that are using assault rifles, staying at range, you're probably going to have a tough time too because range is not so good at this gun. Though you can kill them if they're standing still. So I hope you guys like this video. Like I said, hit that like button. Be much appreciated. This has been Champ at Champ Gaming. Come see me. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Battery K I -A.
Exactly as briefed. Good work. 